What is up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the No Idea. Adam, what do we got today? A Maristep Pro Series Thermal Ground Blind for Hunting. This thing, I think, could actually be a game changer for us hunters when we hit the woods and it is cold, especially if we have some kiddos. So come along with us. We are going to set this up, we're going to review it, and then we are also going to take it out into the field uh, to test it out as well this deer season. And if you haven't yet subscribed, we'd love for you to subscribe, hit that like button, turn on the notifications. We'd greatly appreciate it. All right, come along as we set this bad boy up. So there you go. Here we are with the Ameristep Pro Series Thermal Blind. It's all set up. Adam, why did you actually buy this thing? Last year I bought a double ladder stand um, and my nine-year-old daughter at that time uh, came up with me and she did really well. And last year's weather was pretty conducive. It was like upper 20s, lower 30s uh, in the teens at opener. And she did pretty well and lasted until about 9, 30, 10 in the morning. That's, I, that's where I really like to push through, try to stay in the sand at least until uh, guys and gals start watch, walking out for lunch. So one of the biggest things I wanted to kind of beat that cold with my kid, but also looking at this week's forecast, <laughs> as soon as yeah. I saw the extended range forecast and it's, uh, we're talking wind chills in the single digits up by where we're hunting, um, 15 mile an hour winds, 20 plus mile yep. an hour gusts with uh, teens for highs. I was like, yeah, the, the ladder stand is just not going to cut it for yep. me. I went to look for insulated ground blinds. Okay. This is really one of the only ones, if not the only one, that I could find in the Maristep uh, insulated. It's got the 300D welded insulated fabric. So that's kind of the big draw to it is, you know, it's the same concept like our Eskimo ice fishing hub. It's the same concept with the insulation there. The 300D stands for, damn, it's going to be nice and toasty this opening weekend. So that's pretty cool. It, it's 24 pounds, uh, yeah. all packed up. It's 24 pounds, uh, which isn't uh, overly heavy or anything. It, it has a nice carrying bag so that when we take it out this weekend, we can just throw it over our shoulders and, and carry it out as well. And as you saw earlier, the setup is really easy. He did that. Uh, within under uh, under a minute. One of the things we want to share with you is it does not come down come with uh, grommets to actually uh, secure the thing into the ground. It does come with tie downs, but Adam, why? What are you gonna do? What's your plan? I'm hoping to dual use this if it works well enough for just a a, a, a light day trip with just by myself ice fishing or with with my daughter or one other person. Um, the one thing I don't like about this when you're out ice fishing and just or e even in the woods anywhere, it's just more stuff kind of spread out. So what I'm gonna do, there is a bottom skirt on this, I'm gonna punch a hole in it. I got a grommet kit that I'm gonna add some grommets to, and then probably just get the Eskimo um, drill attachment and add you know, add yep. those spikes into it so I can drill into the ice, and then it does come with some spikes. But otherwise, for this, um, as you'll see, it's just a, it's a ratchet uh, tie down that attaches to this and can attach to a tree or a spike that goes on the ground. Yep. The footprint is 70 by 70 and 70 tall. It does pop out just like all the other um, hubs. So the actual, what they call a shooting room is 84 inches across. Mm -hmm. All right, one of the first things you're gonna notice on this, this also does have a full door, just like the Eskimos. So it actually has a fifth panel on here to fit in that full door. I absolutely love the full door with the Eskimos already. Um, not only for myself, not the smallest guy, but also little kids can be super clumsy too and tripping over stuff. So that full door is just an added sweetness to this thing. So we'll take a look inside, see what other features that we have. So one of the biggest things you can see right away, uh, Eskimos have that kind of that light color on the inside, um, that gray to help it make things lighter. You want that opposite when you're hunting, right? You want to darken here so you can conceal yourself, eliminate shadows inside of here. So 12 shooting windows in here. Um, this I think is really, really cool. What is one thing about ground blinds that everybody hates and uh, is always worried about is Velcro. that, yep. you know, in the middle of the woods. This has toggles on the top. There's two layers of window. 
There's the mesh camouflage layer, and then there is the um, thick insulated layer. So you can keep the thick insulated layer um, up and locked in if you're not looking that direction, or you can pull it down if it's either a nicer day or uh, you want to look that direction. Here's the other cool thing, okay? If this is a window that is an option for a shootout, I can leave this down. And with just by moving this, if you look really close, these are like hard plastic, um, mm. I guess, veins with a plastic hook attached to it. And you just slide that down, just like that. Uh. And that pulls, so with one hand, I can have my, say my rifle in one hand or my white claw in one hand or whatever it is. And I can slide the window down and I can slide it right back up same with the mesh, shutter. right? Same with the mesh. mesh. So the there's mesh. no Velcro, folks. So this no is Velcro. a silent glide window uh, opening. So if, I, if all I need to do is stick my barrel out this window, it's just sliding these two down and boom. Yep. And there you have it right there. There's a lot of space in here. It says a four person hub. You could get, you could get four guys in here. I don't know if I would want to hunt with four no. guys in here. However, the plan is my daughter your daughter, Aaron, my niece, um, and myself, we plan on hunting together in here this weekend. And I think all three of us, one big adult, two little kids, could easily uh, spend the day in here. I'm going to be curious to know with your Mr. Buddy heater, how warm this yeah. thing gets. That's the plan. We're going to have a Mr. Buddy in here. I, I could tell the insulation isn't as thick as, say, the Eskimo. Yeah, I'm stoked. We'll stand up once just to show, like, you can't really, like. I'm six feet exactly. It says 70 inches to the top. So yeah. my head does does hit there, and it does drop off pretty quick. But I'll tell you what, I'm actually, now that I'm in here, what they call the shooting room, um, I'm really impressed. Uh, I know the box says it. The box says there's more room in the year, rear for more concealment. So yeah, yeah, I mean, you could you can get way back in this thing, and you have so much room in here to really conceal yourself. Okay, one thing I do want to point out, I set this up one time and took it down, and... I, I'm fairly certain it happened, obviously, before we set it up, because all I did was set it up and then take it down. We do have a rip already in the fabric. So um, one of the things is looks like it's easily sewable, but when you pay uh, what you paid for it, you want to make sure yeah. that there's nothing wrong with it when you take it out of the box. So we'll be looking to potentially exchange this here before the hunting season starts and, and see how good the customer service is when it comes to the places where you can get these. And just, and just a heads up, this is not like a... This is not some like some $75, $125 blind. No. This is a thermal blind. So on their website right now at the recording of this, it is $499. But you got it uh, elsewhere online? Yeah, Sportsman's Guide. Uh, Sportsman's Guide website. They're out of St. Paul. They do have a store up there as well. You sign up for their membership and you got another like $40 off. So I ended up getting this. Uh, for $269.99 at the, at the time of this recording. So that's a pretty good price because if you just do any Google search, you're going to find anything from $300 all the way up to almost $500 for this blind right here. And before any of you uh, YouTube trolls say that we're paid, uh, that <laughs> Amer Ameristep is paying us or we got this free, no, Adam paid this. Uh, Adam paid for this, so this is a, just an honest review. Don't uh, tell my wife, though. Yeah, don't tell his wife. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tear it down. We're going to pack it up because this weekend is the opening weekend of the gun deer season here in Wisconsin. And we're going to put this bad boy to some use. And we will give you a final review as to how it worked, how we think it's going to be. And if we would recommend it to anybody looking for a thermal, thermal um, hunting blind. All right, let's go. set up. We got the girls playing cards. Got the heater going. Um, we're nice and toasty. And this is awesome so far. So far I'm really impressed with how nice this blind is. The windows, the little slides on the windows are working great. Okay, so we've been sitting for about an hour and a half and uh, it's it's cold. This is probably as extreme as conditions as you're going to get. Um, the temperature actually dropped since we got out. The wind has picked up. Currently it says 14 degrees and uh, feels like a negative three. So 
um, so far the hub uh, it, it definitely isn't as buttoned up like you know again there's no velcro or anything like that so it's not as buttoned up um, so yeah the wind is still gonna rush through here but uh, overall it keeps the edge off overall again still pretty impressed but it's freaking cold all right, it is day nine of the Wisconsin gun deer season and we're wrapping up. We're tearing down the Ameristep uh, insulated ground blind. Um, and we're gonna share with you really quickly our thoughts on it. Uh, opening weekend, uh, it was basically in the low uh, double digits, about 12 to 15 degrees with a uh, wind chill of about five to one. And then uh, today on the last day, <laughs> It's a uh, 50 degrees. So Adam, what are your thoughts? Um, I mean, it, it definitely took that edge off. We also said uh, you're kind of in a conundrum because you're sitting in a blind, blind, you need the windows open no matter what. So any heat that's being produced is escaping, unlike yeah. unlike an ice fishing uh, igloo or something like that. So yeah, um, um, I, I mean, overall, the, the, the windows, I think, are the biggest thing. Being able to slide quietly, there's no, I mean, there's no Velcro, there's nothing, it's quiet. And you Pretty had easy. your daughter, and my daughter in there, yeah. um, plenty of room. Um, and then one big shout out, one big shout out. Where did you get it from? Um, ooh, sportsmansguide.com. Sport, Sportsman's They're Guide. out of St. Paul, Minnesota. So when you saw the beginning of this video, you noticed that it came ripped in one of the corners. Um, the we did that video on a Wednesday. Wednesday before the gun deer season. Yep, and Adam got a hold of them, and you had it what? By Friday. Uh, by Friday at noon. Super good, super helpful. The customer service is amazing. And they sent me a new one, overnighted it because it was the gun deer season and I knew I needed it. So sportsmanguide.com, we'll put a link into their website. Go check them out, they're awesome, awesome people out of St. Paul. So there you go. If you're looking for an insulated ground blind, we would recommend this one. Uh, again, this was we purchased this with our own money, folks. Uh, we did not get this for free. So uh, this is our honest review of it. Uh, it's been a long nine days. Uh, we hunted hard. We can't say we didn't try. Uh, buck we, pole's empty. Yep, buck pole's empty. So, all right. Well, uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, we'd love for you to subscribe. Uh, also, hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good talk. See you out there. Thank you.